Welcome to this overview video of Professor Messer's CompTIA a certification training course. I'm James Messer. And in this module, we're going to go through a few things associated with the CompTIA a certification. First, I want to tell you a little bit about myself. Then we'll go through an overview of what the CompTIA exam really is. This a certification is very broad, and we're going to break down everything for you. We'll also talk a little bit about taking the certification and things you can expect when you're ready to walk in the door of the exam center. My name is James Messer. I have these training videos that you're watching. And I'm someone who's been in the IT industry and around computers for about 25 years. And I've had my hands in a little bit of everything, from managing and operations in mainframes, in local area networks, in server farms. I've been doing a network analysis, troubleshooting, network security. You name it, I've tried to get my hands into anything associated with computers. I've also authored a book called called Secrets of Network Cartography, a comprehensive guide to NMAP. And I have a video-based training course called NMAP Secrets that goes along with that. And of course, I have the a certification. I'm also certified in the CompTIA's Network Plus and Security Plus. And I have many other industry certifications. But the important thing for this particular series of videos is all about a and understanding the fundamentals of hardware and operating systems. I made these training courses to be these short little videos that you could watch in 15 or 20 minutes to grab a certain section of the exam, certain pieces of information, and be able to grab it quickly and then go on to the next one or wait a little while and grab the next little tidbit. So you can watch as little as you would like or as much as you'd like. And you can watch these lectures whenever you want to. And probably best of all, they're absolutely free. I've created all of these videos and put them on the internet for no charge at all. This is something a little bit different than you what you may have seen before. The idea of creating quality educational materials and yet making them available to as many people as possible. It's one of these things where you may find commercial products that are a little better or a little worse. But I wanted to be sure we could provide something that was going to change the way people thought about education and training, especially when getting that training on the internet. The idea is that we could take advantage of some of these new streaming technologies, these new social networking technologies, and be able to get an entirely new group of people trained on the fundamentals of computer technology. And of course, we have training courses in networking. We have training courses in security. This has certainly gotten a lot bigger than the simple a course than we originally created. The goal is to have an entire worldwide crew of trained technology professionals. And we hope that these videos can help you along your path as you get these certifications and perhaps get more along in your career. So what is the catch? Obviously, if it's free, there's got to be a catch. In this particular case, there really isn't one. We put all of these videos on the internet. You can watch them whenever you would like. You don't have to register. You don't have to give me your personal information. They're there and available for you to watch. The idea is that we would be able to create free videos, but also make them very, very good. I try to put a lot of quality information right into every video. And it's not just one or two videos or a few videos. The entire training course is available for free. So that's a little bit different than things you may have seen in the past. If you want something that's a high definition version, you would like downloadable audio, then you can purchase those. So it's a little bit of a freemium. It's an upgradable type version so that when you're not on the internet, you can take these videos and watch them with you on a portable device. You can listen to them on your iPod or another listening device. You, if you'd like to know more about that, just visit our website at professormesser.com. And right under the A-plus link, you'll see a section there to learn how you can also download these videos for yourself. Let's build this online community. And you'll also notice on the Professor Messer website that I have videos. I have a message board. There's a real-time chat at the bottom of every page on my website. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Google+. You can find me, communicate with other other people who are also learning these materials so that we can all learn this information together. CompTIA stands for the Computing Technology Industry Association. It's an organization that is a consortium of many different groups, IT resellers, distributors, manufacturers, training centers, many, many different organizations. And the idea is that we could get a single certification that covered many, many different kinds of systems rather than having to go to individual manufacturers to get those certifications. And that way, we don't have to worry about getting those vendor-specific certifications. And we're able to get those certifications anywhere 
anywhere in the world. There are many, many different countries where the A-plus exam is offered, and all of those countries and perhaps even more recognize the A-plus as being one of the most popular certifications in the world. Because of this popularity, A-plus really does make a very good first certification. If you're looking to get into the industry, you're looking to learn more about technology and get into IT, this is a great place to start. It's a grid foundation. Everything you learn here, you can use in other places you go throughout your career. And in many cases, you need an A-plus just to get that initial job or to keep your initial job. So many organizations, the military, the government, and also private organizations expect you to have an A-plus certification before you even start your position. This also is an opportunity for you to learn more about technology. And there is a personal satisfaction associated with that. Everybody in the IT industry had to start somewhere, and this is a great place to start. To get your A-plus certification, you will need to pass two exams. The first exam is the 22701, or the Essentials exam. And on that exam, you'll need to understand hardware, troubleshooting, operating systems, networking security, and operational procedures. There are 100 questions on this exam, and you, your passing score needs to be a 675. Now, this is not a percentage. The scoring is actually between 100 and 900, and every question is worth a different amount. So you're never sure exactly how many exactly you should get right or get wrong, but you should have a pretty good idea. If 675 is passing and the top number is 900, you at least have a feel for how many is there that you'll need to know or how many you want to be sure you don't miss. To get your A-plus, you'll also need to pass a second exam called the Practical Application Exam. Its number is 220-702. This is a little bit more of a practical use of the things that you learned in the Essentials exam. A lot more emphasis in troubleshooting hardware, a lot more emphasis in solving problems in the operating systems or with networking or with security. On the 702 exam, you will need to also pass 100 questions with a 700 score, so a little bit higher than what you might see on the Essentials exam. For your best bet at passing the exam, you'll want to go out to CompTIA.org and download the exam requirements. There are a very, very detailed list of exam requirements that will tell you exactly what you need to know before you walk into the exam center. You also want to watch some of these videos. We've got every single part of those exam requirements documented in these videos. We tried to miss nothing on that list. So we're covering the bases there. But I also recommend that you get a good book as well. If you go out to Professor professormesser.com. We've partnered with our friends at GTS Learning. Go out to professormesser.com slash A plus book. It will take you right to the GTS website where you can see some of the books that we use when we're putting together our exam requirements and our videos. I've also got community forums and chat on professormesser.com. So hopefully that will be a good resource for you to use during your training process as well. Before you go into your exam, do the things that you would normally do. Get a good breakfast. Make sure you get plenty of sleep the night before. Or you don't want to cram so much that you're, you're walking into the exam center not as awake and alert as you should be. And if you are able to get on site just a little bit early, that helps to make things not quite as stressful. And occasionally, they'll take you right in. You won't have to sit around and have that anxiety really increase as you're waiting in the waiting room. If they have a place for you, they'll put you right in. You can start taking the exam immediately. Once you walk into the exam room, you can have a seat and relax. You don't have to start the exam immediately. I'm a nervous test taker, so I like to sit there and read through the information on the screen, take some deep breaths. You have to agree to some information, so there's plenty of time to go through the things that you need. The clock doesn't start until you hit go. And in that way, you can be ready and comfortable in your surroundings. But if those surroundings happen to be noisy, if there's people in the hallway, if it's too hot or too cold, let the folks in the exam center know right away. They can resolve those problems because they would like to see you pass this exam as well. Also, think about the time. Once you're starting your exam, you've got 100 questions to go through. So you'll want to be sure that you're able to know exactly what you're doing. If you have any questions about anything that you're reading, mark it. Put a check mark next to it. There's a mark box. Make sure you take advantage of that. And then once you go all the way through the questions, you can go right back to just the questions that you've marked. Or you can go back and look at every single one of the questions again. Check your entire exam. Make sure you did not miss any questions. Those will count 
count against you. You need to answer every single question on the exam, and you'll know immediately if you passed. It'll pop up a message that says you passed or perhaps that you did not pass. But in both cases, make sure you get the printed document that is stamped by the testing center because it's going to first prove that you passed the certification. And secondly, if you didn't pass, it will tell you the sections where you perhaps did not score as well. And you can use that information to help study for the next time. If you didn't quite pass the first time, you can schedule the next try immediately. And if they have a time that's the following day, you can immediately walk back in the next day. If you don't pass that one, you have to wait at least 15 days before your next attempt. So keep that in mind if you're going through and struggling with this. You may not be able to do one after the other after the other. There is a short period where you do have to wait before you take that third attempt at the exam. At this point, you have all of the resources that you should need to be able to pass your certification exam. Look at all the videos that are out on my website at ProfessorMesser.com. All of them are categorized. They're indexed. You can go right to the information that you happen to be looking for. Get a good book. I recommend the one from GTS Learning. You can get that at ProfessorMesser.com slash A plus book. And you can also go to our website and participate in our message boards. You can participate in our online chat. Or you can send me a message, and I'll be glad to help you in any way that I can. Good luck with your training. We hope you enjoy our videos. Good studies. We'll see you at our website at ProfessorMesser.com.